In this video, we'll talk about allergy-proof your home. If you are suffering from eczema, common household allergens can make your life sheer misery. There are triggers, literally, around your house. The following is a plan to rid your home of allergens and potential eczema triggers forever. Don't turn your bedroom into a dust mite paradise. Wash your bedding once a week. Make sure you rid yourself of any skin-irritating wool blankets. Cover your mattress and box springs in dust mite-proof wraps. Let's face it, carpets are a lure for every imaginable allergen, from dander, mold spores, and dust mites. You may not be aware of it, but there's a party happening in your carpets all the time. The deeper your carpet, the happier the festivities. Wherever possible, replace your carpets with hardwood, tiles, or linoleum. If you must have carpeting in an area of your home, at least ensure it is low pile and ready vacuumable. Vacuum once a day to rid yourself of the worst carpet allergens. Make sure your curtains and blinds are made of washable material and clean them at least once a month. Your blinds should have wide slates for easy dusting and cleaning. Fresh air is great. Unfortunately, open windows are an invitation for pollens to enter your home. Keep your windows closed and use air conditioning when needed. Upholstering can harbor dust mites. Instead, opt for furniture made of wood, leather, and other materials that are easy to clean. Unless you live a minimalist lifestyle, there will be clutter. That's especially true if you have children. Dust books and knickknacks at least once a week. Place children's toys in a bin. Wipe down all surfaces at least once a day. You love them, but they come with allergens. If you are considering getting a pet, discuss your allergy-free option with a veterinarian. Once you have your pet, bathe it once a week. Make sure your stove has a vent fan to handle the cooking fumes. Wash your dishes after you use them and wipe down the faucet and entire sink to remove any germs and mold. Remove old food, as they can create mold. Clean your refrigerator every month or every two months. Wallpaper can attract dirt and mold. Use an enamel paint to color and decorate your walls. A humidifier will keep the air from becoming too dry during the winter months. You should keep the all-around temperature of your home at around 72 degrees. Certain houseplants are great for removing particular allergens from the air. Your best plant choices are bamboo palm and other palm trees, English ivy, peace lily, Gerbera daisy. Pests are annoying enough, but they also leave a residue that can trigger allergies. It's a good idea to have a professional exterminator fumigate your house. Cockroaches, unfortunately a common household pest, thrive on water and moisture. Ensure that your kitchen and bathrooms are leak-proof and all of your containers are tightly sealed. There should be no smoking in your entire house. No exceptions. Like cockroaches, mold grows with moisture. Remove damp clothes from your washing machine as soon as they are done. Washing machines can be a great breeding ground for mold. You love your yard and you should be able to enjoy it. However, it can cause sneezing and allergies that can trigger your eczema. With proper care, however, you can enjoy your yard. Ensure that you mow your grass regularly to keep it short. Regular fertilization of your soil will choke out allergy producers such as nestles and dandelion. Do your yard work after it has rained. Dry days account for the highest pollen levels, so those are the days to avoid your yard if you can. Wear long sleeves and gloves while you garden. This will keep pollens from reaching your skin and creating a rash. Keep an eye wash in your pocket when you venture outside. This will prevent redness in the event your eyes get hit with pollen. Also, wearing sunglasses is an excellent idea. When you are done with your yard work, remove your clothes immediately and place them in the laundry. This will prevent pollen on your clothes from spreading. It's also a good idea to shower and shampoo when you get back inside. You won't be able to control the pollen from your neighbor's garden, but you can minimize pollens in your own by planting flora that is less likely to cause an allergic rash. Azalea, fir, and dogwood trees are an excellent choice. You can also plant begonias, tulips, daffodils, pansy, and nasturtium to cut down on the pollen. With the right plants, your garden will become a source of pleasure instead of a trigger for an annoying rash. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.